and today we will be talking about Seven Wonders of the World. It was a campaign started in 2000 to choose wonders of the world from a selection of 200 existing monuments. The popularity poll via free web-based voting and small amounts of telephone voting was led by Canadians with Bernard Weber and organized by the new Seven Wonders Foundation based in Zurich, Switzerland, with winners announced on 7 of July 2007 in Lisbon at Stadio da Luz. Now, let's have a look at the 13 other finalists for Seven Wonders in no particular order. Number 13. Sydney Opera House in Sydney, Australia Sydney Opera House is a multi-venue performing arts centre at Sydney Harbour located in Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. It is one of the 20th century's most famous and distinctive buildings. Number 12. Eiffel Tower in Paris, France The Eiffel Tower is a wrought iron lattice tower on the Champ de Mars in Paris, France. It is named after the engineer Gustave Eiffel, whose company designed and built the tower. Number 11. Statue of Liberty, New York City, United States The Statue of Liberty Enlightening the World was a gift of friendship from the people of France to the United States and is recognized as a universal symbol of freedom and democracy. The Statue of Liberty was dedicated on October 28, 1886. It was designated as a national monument in 1924. Employees of the National Park Service have been caring for the colossal copper statue since 1933. Number 10. Neu Schwanstein in Fussen, Germany Schwanstein Castle, Southern Bavarian, is a 9th century romantic eclecticism at palace on a ragged hill above the village of Hossenschweigau near Fussen in southwest Bavaria, Germany. The palace was commissioned by King Ludwig II of Bavaria as a retreat and in honor of Richard Wagner. Ludwig paid for the palace out of his personal fortune and by means of extensive borrowing rather than Bavarian public funds. The castle was intended as a home for the king until he died in 1886. It was opened to the public shortly after his death. Since then, more than 61 million people have visited Neuschwanstein Castle. More than 1.3 million people visit annually, with as many as 6,000 per day in summer. Number 9. Kyumizu Dera in Kyoto, Japan Kyumizu Dera, formerly Otowa san Kyumizu Dera, is a Buddhist temple in eastern Kyoto. The temple is part of the historic monuments of ancient Kyoto UNESCO World Heritage Site. Number 8. Red Square in Moscow, Russia Red Square is a city square in Moscow, Russia. It separates the Kremlin, the former Number 7. Alhambra in Granada, Spain. The Alhambra, or the Red One, is a palace and fortress complex located in Granada, Andalusia, Spain. It was originally constructed in a small fortress in 889 CE on the remains of Roman fortifications and then largely ignored until its ruins were renovated and rebuilt in the mid 13th century by the Nasri Emir Muhammad bin Al Amar of the Emirate of Granada, who built its Number 6. Timbuktu in Timbuktu, Mali Timbuktu is a city in Mali situated 20 kilometers north of the Niger River. The town is the capital of the Timbuktu region, one of the eight administrative regions of Mali. It had a population of 54,453 in the 2009 census. Timbuktu started out as a seasonal settlement and became a permanent settlement early in the 12th century. After a shift in trading routes, particularly after the visit by Mansa Musa around 1325, Timbuktu flourished from the trade in salt, gold, ivory, and slaves. Number 5. Moai in Easter Island, Chile Moai, meaning statue in Rapa Nui, are monolithic human figures carved by the Rapa Nui people on Easter Islands in the Eastern Polynesia be between the years 1250 and 1500. Nearly half are still at Rano Raraku, the main Moai quarry, but hundreds were transported from there and set on stone platforms called Ahu around the island's perimeter. Almost all Moai have overly large heads, three-eighths the size of the whole statue. 
the Moai are chiefly the living faces or Aringa Ora of defied or defied ancestors or Aringa Ora Ata Tipuna, the statues still gazed inland across their clan lands. When European first visited the islands in 1722, but all of them had fallen by the latter part of the 19th century. Number 4. Angkor Wat in Angkor, Cambodia. Angkor Wat, or a city or capital of temple, is a temple complex in Cambodia and the largest religious monument in the world by land area on a site measuring 162.6 hectares. Originally constructed as a Hindu temple dedicated to the god Vishnu for the Khmer Empire, it was gradually transformed into a Buddhist temple towards the end of the 12th century and as such it is also described as the Hindu Buddhist temple. It was built by the Khmer king Suryavarman II in the early 12th century and Yasudharapura, the capital of Khmer Empire, as his state temple and eventual mausoleum. Number 3. Aya Sophia in Istanbul, Turkey. Aya Sophia, or Holy Wisdom, formerly the Church of Aya Sophia, is a late antique place of worship in Istanbul. Built in 537 as a patriarchal cathedral of the imperial capital of Constantinople, it was the largest Christian church of the Eastern Roman Empire and the Eastern Orthodox Church, except during the Latin Empire from 1204 to 1261 when it became the city's Roman Catholic Cathedral. In 1453, after the fall of Constantinople to the Ottoman Empire, it was converted into a mosque. In 1935, the secular Turkish Republic established it as a museum. In 2020, it reopened as a mosque. Built by the Eastern Roman Emperor Justinian I as the Christian Cathedral of Constantinople for the State Church of the Roman Empire between 532 and 537. The church was then the world's largest interior space and among the first to employ a fully pendentive dome. It is considered the epitome of Byzantine architecture and is said to be or is said to have changed the history of architecture. Second, Acropolis of Athens in Athens, Greece. The Acropolis of Athens in, is an ancient citadel located on the rocky outcrop above the city of Athens and contains the remains of several ancient buildings of great architectural and historic significance, the most famous being the Parthenon. The word Acropolis is from the Greek words akron, meaning the highest point, extremity, and polis means city. Although the term Acropolis is generic and there are many other Acropolis in Greece, the significance of the Acropolis of Athens is such that it is commonly known as the Acropolis without qualification. During ancient times, it was known also more properly as Cecropia, after the legendary serpent man Cecrops, the supposed first Athenian king. And lastly, from the third and final lists, Stonehenge in Amesbury, United Kingdom. Stonehenge is a prehistoric monument in Wiltshire, England, two miles west of Amesbury. It consists of a ring of standing stones, each around 13 feet high, 7 feet wide, and weighing around 25 tons. The stones are set within earthworks in the middle of the most dense complex of Neolithic and Bronze Age monument in England, including several hundreds to Muli or Boreal Mounds. Archaeologists believe it was constructed from 300 BC to 2000 BC. The surrounding circular earth bank and ditch, which constitute the earliest phase of the monument, have been dated to about 3100 BC. Radiocarbon dating suggests that the first blue stones were raised between 2400 and 2200 BC, although they may have been at the site as early as 3000 BC. One of the most famous landmarks in the United Kingdom, Stonehenge is regarded as the British cultural icon. It has been a legally protected scheduled ancient monument since 1882, when legislation to protect historic monu monuments was first successfully introduced in Britain. Now, let's see the list of the official nominated seven wonders of the world 2020. Number seven, Christ the Redeemer in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. 
Christ the Redeemer is an Art Deco statue of Jesus Christ in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, created by Polish French sculptor Paul Landowski and built by Brazilian engineer Heitor da Silva Costa in collaboration with French engineer Albert Cacot. Romanian sculptor George Leonida fashioned the face. Constructed between 1922 and 1931, the statue is 30 meters high, excluding its 8 meter pedestal. The arms stretch 28 meters wide. The statue weighs 635 metric tons and is located at the peak of the 700 meters Corcovado Mountain in the Tijuca Forest National Park, overlooking the city of Rio de Janeiro. A symbol of Christianity across the world, the statue has also become a cultural icon of both Rio de Janeiro and Brazil and is listed as one of the new seven wonders of the world. It is made of reinforced concrete and soapstone. Number 6. Taj Mahal in Agra, Uttar Pradesh, India The Taj Mahal is an ivory-white marble mausoleum on the southern bank of the river Yamuna in the Indian city of Agra. It was commissioned in 1632 by the Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan to house the tomb of his favorite wife, Mum Taj Mahal. It is also houses the tomb of Shah Jahan himself. The tomb is the centerpiece of a 17-hectare complex which includes a mosque and a guest house and is set in formal gardens bounded on three sides by a crenellated wall. Construction of the mausoleum was essentially completed in 1643, but work continued on the other phases of the project for another 10 years. The Taj Mahal complex is believed to have been completed in its entire T in 1653 at a cost estimated at the time to be around 32 million rupees, which is in 2020 would be approximately 70 billion rupees around 916 million US dollars. The construction project employed some 20,000 artisans under the guidance of the Board of Architects led by the court architect to the Emperor Ustaj Ahmad Lahauri. Number 5. Machu Picchu in Kuzu region, Peru. Machu Picchu is a 15th century Inca citadel located in the eastern Cordillera of southern Peru on a 2,430-meter mountain ridge. It is located in the Machu Picchu district within Urubamba province above the Sacred Valley, which is 80 kilometers northwest of Cusco. The Urubamba River flows past it, cutting through the Cordillera and creating a canyon with a tropical mountain climate. Most archaeologists believe that Machu Picchu was constructed as an estate for the Inca Emperor Pachacuti, often mistakenly referred to as the lost city of the Incas. It is the most familiar icon of Inca civilization. The Incas built an estate around 1540 but abandoned it, it a century later at the time of the Spain conquest. Although known locally, it was unknown to the Spanish during the colonial period and remained unknown to the outside world until American historian Hiram Bingham brought it to the international attention in 1911. Number 4. Chichen Itza in Yucatan, Mexico. Chichen Itza was a large pre-colonial city built by the Maya people of the Terminal Classic period. The archaeological site is located in Tinum Municipality, Yucatan State, Mexico. Chichen Itza was a major focal point in the northern Maya lowlands from the Late Classic through the Terminal Classic and into the early portion of the post-classic period. The site exhibits a multitude of architectural styles reminiscent of styles seen in central Mexico and of the Puuk and Chinese style of the northern Maya lowlands. The presence of the central Mexican style was once thought to have been representative of direct migration or even conquest of central Mexico, but most contemporary interpretations view the presence of these non-Maya styles more as a result of cultural diffusion. Number 3. Colosseum in Rome, Italy the Colosseum is an oval amphitheater in the center of the city of Rome, Italy, just east of the Roman Forum. It is the largest ancient amphitheater ever built. Construction began under the Emperor of Vespasian in 72 and was completed in AD 80 under his successor in higher Titus. Further modifications were made during the reign of the mission. Three emperors that were patrons of the work are known as the Flavian Dynasty, and the amphitheater was named the Flavian Amphitheater by later classicists and archaeologists for its association with their family name. 
Colosseum is built for travertine limestone, tough or volcanic rock, and brick-faced concrete. The Colosseum could hold an estimated 50,000 up to 80,000 spectators at various points of its history over the centuries, having an average audience of some 65,000. It was used for legitorial contests and public spectacles such as moxie battles, animal hunts, executions, reenactments of famous battles, and dramas based on Roman mythology. Number 2. Petra in Man Jordan Petra, originally known to its inhabitants in Rakmu, is a historic and archaeological city in southern Jordan. Petra lies around Habal al Marpa in a basin surrounded by mountains which form the eastern flank of the Araba Valley that runs from the Dead Sea to the Gulf of Bakaba. The area around Petra has been inhabited from as early as 7000 BC and the Nabataeans might have settled in what would become the capital city of their kingdom. As early as the 4th century BC, however, archaeological work has only discovered evidence of Nabashan presence dating back to the 2nd century BC, by which time Petra had become their capital. The Nabashans were nomadic Arabs who invested in Petra's proximity to the trade routes by establishing it as a major regional trading hub. And number one, Great Wall of China in China. The Great Wall of China is a series of fortifications that were built across the historical northern borders of ancient Chinese states in Imperial China as protection against various nomadic groups from Eurasian steam. Several walls will, were built from as early as the 7th century BC, with selective stretches later joined together by Qin Shi Huang, the first emperor of China. Little of the Qin wall remains. Later on, many successive dynasties have built and maintained multiple stretches of border walls. The most well-known sections of the wall were built by the Ming dynasty. Apart from defense, other purposes of the Great Wall have included border controls, allowing the imposition of duties on goods transported along the Silk Road, regulation on or encouragement of trade, and the control of immigration and immigration. Furthermore, the defensive characteristics of the Great Wall were enhanced by the construction of watchtowers, troop barracks, garrison stations, signaling capabilities through the means of smoke or fire, and the fact that the path of the Great Wall also served as a transportation corridor. And the honorary status has been awarded to Great Pyramid of Giza in Giza Necropolis, Egypt. The Great Pyramid of Giza, also known as the Pyramid of Khufu or the Pyramid of Cheops, is the oldest and largest of the three pyramids in the Giza Pyramid Complex bordering present-day Giza in Greater Cairo, Egypt. It is the oldest of the seven wonders of the ancient world and the only one to remain largely intact. Egyptologists believe that the pyramid was built, built as a tomb for the 4th dynasty Egyptian Baroa Khufu over a 20-year period, concluding around 2560 BC. Initially, standing at 146.5 meters, the Great Pyramid was the tallest man-made structure in the world for more than 3,800 years. It is estimated to weigh approximately 6 million tons and consists of 2.3 million blocks of limestones and granite, some weighing as much as 80 tons. It was originally covered by limestone casing stones that formed a smooth outer surface. What is seen today is the underlying core structure, although a few casing stones can still be seen at the base. It was built by extracting huge stones from a quarry and lifting them into place, but there are varying scientific and alternative theories about the exact construction technique. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today in this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button now. Thank you. Have a great time.